A 10-year-old boy is brought to his pediatrician because of a painful ear. The pain began one week earlier with a runny nose and sinus pressure that progressed to ear pain and dizziness. Otoscopic examination reveals the findings in the picture below. He has a low-grade fever of 37.8 Celsius degree, but with no other physical findings. What is the most likely diagnosis? The diagnosis is acute otitis media. The bulging red tympanic membrane is a sign of middle ear infection. Middle ear is filled with a creamy white mucopurulent exudate, which is causing the tympanic membrane to bulge laterally. Note the dilatation of the radial blood vessels of the tympanic membrane, which appear like the spokes of a wheel. The clinical course suggests a viral upper respiratory infection, leading to secondary involvement of the middle ear due to inflammation and congestion of the eustachian tube. The eustachian tube connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx. From what embryologic structure is the tympanic membrane derived? The tympanic membrane derives from the first pharyngeal membrane. The pharyngeal membranes constitute the tissue between the pharyngeal groove, or cleft, and the pharyngeal pouch. Only the first pharyngeal membrane is retained in the adult. The rest are obliterated during development. What three bones are located in the middle ear? The three bones located in the middle ear, auditory ossicles, are the malleus, incus, and stapes. Together, they transmit sound from the tympanic membrane to the inner ear. The malleus, which is attached to the tympanic membrane, derives from the first branchial arch. The incus, which lies between the malleus and the stapes, derives from the first branchial arch. The stapes, which is anchored to the oval window of the inner ear, derives from the second branchial arch. The oval window is a connective tissue membrane-covered opening from the middle ear to the cochlea of the inner ear. What two muscles control the movement of the bones of the middle ear? The tensor tympani inserts on the malleus and dampens the amplitude of the tympanic membrane oscillations, which prevents damage to the inner ear from loud sounds. Innervation is by the mandibular nerve, the third branch of cranial nerve 5. The stapegius inserts onto the neck of the stapes and dampens movement of this ossicle. The stapedius is innervated by the facial nerve, cranial nerve 7. A lesion denervating the stapedius causes hypersensitivity to sound, hyperacusis. What organisms commonly cause pediatric ear infections? In order of prevalence, common bacteria that cause middle ear infection are Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae, although rarely type B since the introduction of the conjugated vaccine, and Moraxella catarrhalis. Appropriate antibiotic coverage involves a beta-lactam, such as amoxicillin. Less common organisms are Group A streptococci, Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas, and in newborns, gram-negative bacilli. Approximately 15 to 20% of middle ear infections are due to viruses, including respiratory syncytial virus, rhinovirus, influenza viruses, and adenovirus.